What's up there, fire signs? It is Shadow of Judgment. I know I missed November Shadow of Judgment for you guys. Because I'm a lazy bastard, but you know, it happens. Anyway, I'm doing it for you guys this time. And I'm using my top deck. Because why not? It's going to be the last one for the year since this is for December. I'm going to try to have your guys' readings out before December, hopefully. I don't know. Like, it all depends on, like, mine and my husband's schedules and shit. It's going to be the first one. Oh, two of them. Okay. Aries, you're going first, as always. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, I'm still doing personal readings. If you want one, just let me know. My email's down below in the description box. Just click the show more and everything. Actually, I'm not sure how it shows up, right? Sorrow. Three of Swords Reverse. Ooh. Not the prettiest thing, but the heart, but at least the flower's there. It's lost some of its petals, but it's still a flower. With a Knight of Wands on this side, and ooh. A little bit too much fun. Someone needed to leave. What's indolence? This 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 deck uses so many different words that like I don't recognize who. Oh, okay, cool. Dude, let's see here. I wish I just. Why don't I just fucking get a dictionary? La 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 in. Dull. Wanting to avoid activity or exertion. Lazy. I've looked this up before. I know I've looked this up before now. Slothful. Do nothing. Shiftless. Lack of la date. Lack of la You see that, right? Lack of la daisy. Lack of la daisy. Languid. Inactive. Underactive. Inert. Sluggish. Lethargic. Medicine of a disease condition causing little to no pain. Interesting. Still doesn't give me a right answer. That's Amanda. I need to message her. Anyway, we need to get back to yours, Aries. But yeah, insulin. So here's one person over here. They, they, this is the Knight of Wands. Like, he's supposed to be charging forward, he's supposed to be going forward. Hmm. Like, look at him. Like, he's going. But over here is, like, inactivity. Like, but usually the Eight of Cups is, like, someone's moving on. They don't want to continue anymore. Maybe somebody feels like they don't want to work on whatever it is. And they'd rather just take off. And now they're sorrow, Aries. Let's see what the rest of the accusations are. And we got the two motives and the main one, right? What are the other two accusations? Please don't make me repeat myself because I hate doing that. Ah, cool, thank you. <laughs> we have the Empress Reverse. Could be female Aries for sure. And then we have Adjustment, which is like Libra right here. This is Libra's card, and this could also be a female Aries card. So that's almost appropriate. So this person doesn't want to do anything, and they'd rather just leave. And this person's ready to take off because they're not in a nurturing situation. And now there's some sorrow going on, right? So, what? Is the sentencing and release date, please? I'd love to get those. You're doing so well. I love this deck. Like I don't use it very often because, like, I like to have it. Um, I don't like. I don't want to memorize everything about this deck because then I lose my creative juices into reading it. I like to read it as little as possible. And my crow deck, I haven't looked at in years for that same reason. I, I, I like the way that it inspires me clicks into my intuition a little bit better. Ah. Ooh, and one was already reversed, too. Okay, so then we have... Oh, God. 
lots and lots and lots of things. We have a no apology, no start situation. We have someone turning their back, possibly an earth sign. Uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Queen of Discs is more like Capricorn's card because she don't have anything, but she's still proud of it. And she's too busy of doing her own shit than to pay attention to you. And then her goat will come and headbutt you if she doesn't want to deal with your ass. That's just a Capricorn thing. That's what it gets to me. Like, look, that's totally a Capricorn card. There's a fucking goat. Got deal with it. Sorry, that was horrible. Then we got a Queen of Wands over here. Right? There's the kitty. Which is could be like Sagittarius, right? And then we have this release date, which is the Ace of Cups. And here are two probationary periods, the world reversed and the star, right? So let's see. Um with the ace uh, with the ace of disc, it's like they're like false offer or not an authentic offer like it's not genuine like entering into your own house and seeing that um everything that you previously owned has been replaced with a replica it's kind of like that like you get the feeling it's not authentic and it could not be as authentic as what it is like it might be a shittier offer than what someone was telling you. Like, maybe they tell you they'll give you a car for, like, $300, but they don't tell you the radiator's going bad, the brakes are shot, like, the rotors need replaced because they are rusted and bent everywhere. Like, that kind of shit, right? And then we have, like, a cycle that can be closing or getting completed wrong. Like, if something is, like... There's an eyeball here zapping at the world what or what the world has produced, which almost looks like the tail of a kitty... But it's actually the tail of a snake. Like there's a um, like it's almost focusing on the very end of that tail, while she is like on the footsteps of the head of it. But it's upside down, so like there's a good chance that like she's probably gonna fall over, and the eyeball's gonna blow up her head. Like it all is kind of nuts. And then we have um the star right here which is like healing could be aquarius right but it deals with healing maybe replacing something with another so over here we got like this knight of wands who isn't being nurturing and it does and i get the feeling that they're not going to apologize for anything and that's just turning the world upside down just getting the somebody's eyeball on them in a not so fire friendly manner which has produced a lot of sorrow, possibly even with the Queen of Pentacles. Could be a Capricorn, most likely, but it could also be an older Taurus or Virgo woman as well. And there's an offer here, but it's not as good as you think it is. Because there's someone who just doesn't want to work with things. And, and here is possibly a Libra. Or some injustice. Like something has to be adjusted because nothing's in balance. And here's this Queen of Runs here. Sitting with her kitty all pretty. Ruling elegantly and showing herself off with all of her power. And like rocket flames shooting out of her hair. You know. She is displaying her greatness. Right? And there, But there's a call for healing with all of this. Like, I like, I almost want to say, like, if this is a person, if this is a Libra, like, they're not entirely, uh? So now there is, like, this female fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries, or someone with these fiery energy that they're more focused on. It's like they don't want to work on something, or they are, or they're too lazy to work on it, and they're out of balance. And there might be this lady involved. She might even have a kitty. You never know, but it seems like she's kind of going with this same line of, like, not really giving a genuine offer. And it feels like someone needs to really fix this because it's almost like one person's getting replaced for another. But that's yours, Aries. So I hope that helps you out for the month that hits you home. If not, it's cool. 
Anyway, this is about drama, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Leo, you're up next, man. It's time to see what judgments we bring upon you. What kind of juicy gossip do we got for you going on right now? I wonder. What's the backstory? What's the motives? Can I get them, please? Ah! Ace of Wands. New beginning. Ooh. Fiery start. Maybe some sexual prowess. Maybe someone's getting the thing on. Yes. What's the other motive right here? Oh, I'm not going to draw all those, but I'll draw that one, since it's the only one that fell wrong. Oh, you're charging too! You're trying to go, possibly, to that Ace of Wands. Someone is definitely after a brand new beginning. Someone is definitely passionate about it. Oh! Might be some isolation for the wrong reasons going on with the accusations. Someone's keeping to themselves a little too much. Like someone's trying to... I don't know, keep to themselves a little bit too much, I reckon. Hey, kitten. There's that one. Three of Wands. Lack of virtue. Something isn't going... Huh. How did I define virtue in this? Especially being a wand. Like, look at all this fire. <laughs> then we got the Nine of Cups. Happiness. Or dissatisfaction. Maybe you're dissatisfied and that's why you're wanting to go over here and I feel like you're possibly what are you doing get out of the drawer don't even give me that shit because your lobsters there you dragged it all the way over here and I'm trying to do a reading thank you very much you know better sorry like she's slamming doors to get my attention but like yeah like it seems like Leo, you, I feel like you're willing, or someone's willing, to do some not-so-cool shit in order to get into that new beginning. Even isolating themselves to a point of which they're keeping themselves unsatisfied, or maybe you're already unsatisfied, but this isn't helping either. You know? Oh. And there's some heartbreak for you. Or maybe you're recovering from an old wound. Like, look, this flower is still together. Maybe you were keeping to yourself because you were hurt. I'll take that one. And here is the Wheel of Fortune turning over here. Some fate might be coming in. Ooh. Plenty of fate. And there's the moon with you. Hmm. Delving into some emotions. Then we have making a decision. When it comes to what doesn't make you happy. Sometimes I count this as your card too because it's the sun and that's your literal sun sign. Which is like, you're the freaking sun. Sunshine ass. <laughs> But yeah, like, let's see if I can get another one for this other side, because, like, I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Oh, because of a lie. Ooh, look at all this, Leo. Oh my god, you guys feel so dramatic about shit. Look at all this. Alright, so look at, right? Someone wants a new beginning, and they're willing to do whatever it takes. Not even taking the most virtuous route, right? Because the Three of Wands is reversed. That's very much a charged fire. I, I I don't feel like it's stalled or something's coming to an end as much as it is like somebody's doing something that isn't the right thing. And the Wheel of Fortune's turning on that, like Sagittarian energy. Like, look at all this fire. 
Just on this side. Even the sun. That's on fire all the time. Just sometimes we turn over it and we don't see it, right? But it's still on fire. All of this is straight fire. This is Sagittarian energy. Fire energy. Fire, fire, fire. Lots of passion right here, Leo, right? But someone isn't happy. Because they isolated themselves because of a broken heart. And they kept with that decision of taking the unethical way, even if it would make them unhappy. And they're still driving forward despite the fact that they've been unhappy for a while or dissatisfied. And I feel like they're kind of dealing with those emotions or trying to get with those vibes and understand it. Because they might just be lying to themselves. Simple as that. But that's yours, Leo. For December. So if that resonates with you, go with it. If not, la, 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 la. I don't know what to tell you. Sagittarius, you are last, but don't worry. You adventurers will get somewhere. I'm actually Sagittarius rising, which is probably why I talk so much and sound like I'm way too full of myself on a philosophical and like bitch level. Hmm. That it, my teeth. But that's okay. I can live with that. I like myself. I am awesome. <laughs> Which is weird. Like, Capricorn with the Sagittarius rising. Like, most people would not picture me as a Capricorn. Um, here's some swiftness for you. Eight of Wands. Or lack of, because nothing's happening. It's reverse. Like, whatever swiftness is there is, like, slowed. But yeah, like, most people wouldn't figure me as a Capricorn because of my Sagittarius rising because I act so much like them. Which is probably why I don't get along with them very well. And I've dated a couple of them. Ugh. They do not understand someone who just wants to chill. But then again, I'm not an authentic fire. But weird. In the Vedic astrology, though, I am a Sagittarius with a Capricorn moon. So it's just kind of like, what the fuck am I? <laughs> it's all backwards, but it's kind of cool. If you've never looked at the Vedic horoscope, you should. Ooh, someone's coming in with a teenage love, writing in on a Pegasus to display their love. Um, Sagittarius? Could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Someone wants to offer their love, but obviously not to this way. <laughs> Uh, there's stagnation over here, so they're offering it in a different direction, I feel like. I don't know how I got so long on these, but that's okay. I don't mind going back into more detail. How many minutes has it been? Oh, it hasn't even been a half hour yet. We're good. I'll have to make sure to write in the times for all this. And like I said, I'm going to try to get these... December readings up before December actually starts, so just stay tuned. Oh, you just flew right the fuck away, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Jeez. Okay. Ooh, look at this! In the accusations, a Libra. Motive. Well, not motive, but adjustment, but still, motivation, regardless. Um, weighing scales out like Libras do. Oh my god. Here's the prince or the king of swords, or not swords, wands, and the knight of wands. Fuck. Like, this is already enough fire. Someone's, like, acting like a fucking bully, a real dick leader, like, not very inspirational, not very much someone who people want to follow, but, are, but if they do follow them, it's because they're dick. And here's someone... Okay, um... This is kind of confusing. It's very confusing. Like, why is he offering the cup this way, but he's writing in that way? Like, like is he writing in the fight the king? The prince? Because they're both, like, bedazzled in, like, flames and shit. But he, look at him. He's literally golden on fire. He has a horse from, like, World of Warcraft. <laughs> oh... Someone's feeling left out in the cold. Over here, we got someone who is isolating themselves for all the wrong reasons and not doing a very good job at um, 
dealing with shit, I reckon. Something suddenly smells so freaking weird. Like parsley. I don't know why I'm smelling parsley. That's where I get and you run amok. One more card, or... Yeah, that works. Okay. Oh, that might be too many. Let's see which ones will fit. Huh. There is... The Six of Cups right here, where I think someone indulged in too many pleasures. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is like gains reversed. So there's possibly some loss somewhere. There's loss of identity. Loss of whatever there is. Now I got all these other cards. And it's like, hmm. Let's do it this way. With, the, with these, like, these are going to be constituencations. Here's Lust, which is like... Leo's card, right? Someone restraining themselves from, like, what I want to indulge in. But but they're also restraining themselves in, like, conversation. Like, they might be ghosting, or they might not be talking with the prince or king of swords. Or they're lying their asses off, or not coming out with some sort of information. And then here's someone looking for a reason to almost stay, or, like, they lack the faith of a situation with the Six of Swords reversed. Like, this is science, and then it would be, like, belief reversed to me. And then over here we have Two of Cups reversed. The Lovers, which is, like, okay. And then someone's not happy with it. And then, finally, we got the Aeon right here. Sagittarius, you got a lot of fucking shit, right? Like, we got someone over here who is, um, stagnating themselves. They're being very dickish about things. They're being kind of a bully. And they're isolating themselves for all the wrong reasons. Because, well, they want some sort of balance. Or someone wants some sort of balance, possibly dealing with Libra, but someone's looking for, like, adjustment. Someone was trying to fix something here. Because they've been left out in the cold, and now they want to come back in with this worry. They don't want to worry anymore. Because they've lost something about themselves. Now, what it is that they've lost, I have no idea, because they're restraining themselves with the lust card. There are things that they want, but, like, they're definitely raining back things. Or maybe, by the image alone, they're causing it to indulge too much as well. Could be a Leo. But here we got the Prince or King of Swords. Oh, I'm sorry, Kitten. Why would you go right where I was going to swing my foot, man? My bad. Then we have the King of Swords right here, who's restraining himself when it comes to truth matters. Because there's a lack of faith in the situation. And now, on this side, someone is offering a cup away to elsewhere while they're riding into battle over here because they're not happy they want to break up they want to find somebody else because they're not fucking happy like pleasure happiness both reverse are not fucking happy and i feel like someone is not seen with the aeon reverse or judgment reverse technically um, without, with this AR right here, someone is not looking at the situation with its true identity. Like, someone's not assessing everything correctly here. Right? So, that is your Sagittarius, and I hope you all enjoyed that, and I hope you all have a good Christmas or whatever it is you celebrate, you crazy kids. I have no idea, but that was your Shadow Judgment for December. Take it easy.